fellow guitar players, I'm Soren Reeve and um, I'm going to talk about the powerful tool, the pentatonic scale, and I'm going to talk about using sequences within the pentatonic scale. Uh, many years ago when I was introduced to the, this pentatonic shape scale, uh, a way I started practicing was using a three note sequence, a three note pattern, and then one note up, three note down from that, one note up, three note down from that, one note up and three notes down from that, something like But pretty fast it got kind of boring because it was so predictable. And the way I, that I could make it a little more interesting was to move the pattern so it's the second note that's on the beat. One, two, three, four. That way I think it swings better, it sounds better and then a little more interesting to listen to. And of course you can move the pattern so it's the third note that's on the beat. But all these ways are still kind of predictable so a matter you can spice it up, a way you can spice it up is by playing the same pattern, the same phrasing, the same fingering, the same picking pattern, but now you're playing it at 16 notes instead. So it's like one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. And you can even spice that up by moving the pattern around. So now I'll play it with the with the beat on the second note, three, four. Or you can move it even more. So now the beat will be on the third note. Mm -hmm. well, last but not least, with the beat on the fourth note. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Now, of course, you can do all these pattern and all these this kind of manipulation. You can do it upwards as well, and you can do it with different scales, different positions. Well, just go ahead. Hope it has inspired you, and I hope you have a nice day and stay cool.